Hi everyone. Just a short video today. I had a bit of time. Just finished making some raspberry beet jelly. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's actually really good. Um, and I really wanted to get back in my room. It's been a little cooler, so I can. And yeah, I just thought I would show you what I'm working on. Um, this is the Bellissima kit. And as you can see, I've already put the signatures together, just the pages. I haven't added anything else and I haven't inked. I'm not going to do all that on, on camera, but I um, thought I'd show you what I do for choosing. Uh, I, I always like to add tea stain paper. It's inexpensive and it does make things look more vintage. And so I just you know, depending on the book, depending on how many signatures I want to do, um, that's how I choose the paper. And uh, if I decide to uh, use the craft text for the cover, in which case then I can make it any size I want, but if you're using like the cover off of a book or an envelope even, um, you can't really make the spine bigger, so you're limited, um, which is probably one of the reasons I use the craft text a lot. And, but today, you know, I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to use a hardcover. I have so many books um, that I've gutted, and um, I think I would, but it'll really depend on if I have one wide enough because this is definitely going to be a three sig signature. I designed the kit with 12 pages so that you could uh, use four images per page. Uh, I'm just randomly folding. I don't even know how many of these I'll use. Um, and I think this one I will add maybe a couple flaps, um, flip flops, whatever you want to call them. Um, that way I can leave a lot of the pages as journaling pages. You know how I love to do that. And in my mind, a journal should be something you can actually write in. Uh, unless you wanted to, you know, like a, a glue book, then, yeah, you can do that too. Um, but if you like to journal, then uh, that's what I'm going to do is put a couple flaps. I'm just folding these to get these out of my way. And then I don't know um, honestly how many people have bought the kit, so if you're not aware, uh, there's a lot of ephemera in this kit, and I believe what I did was, now don't, don't quote me on this because I haven't looked at the kit in a long time, when I designed it, I had designed it so that the envelope went this way. And when you fold that up and then you want to put it in your book, your flap is on the inside page. Now that's fine if that's the way you want it. I believe I've put both this way and that way. So when this one gets folded, it's like, I think I have one in one of the books. Um, I mean one of the signatures, yeah. So that when you sew that into your signature, now you see your flap is here. If you use the other one and sew it in, you've got this and then you open it. Which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that personally I'm right-handed and so that looks better to me. Anyway, I added a second one. I also added one that went like this and all the butterflies are facing this way so you can use this for an actual envelope um, to mail to somebody even you know just stick their address label on here and um, yeah you got a pretty pretty envelope. Um, I've done all of my cutting out I haven't inked a thing but um, I lied these are inked. <laughs> Uh, I doubled things up because I realized later I'm doing 
you know, three signatures, which will require more ephemera. So I just um, printed them out twice. And these are the latest um, that I've added to the store. These are the Jane journal, um, calendar cards, postcards. Uh, if you put in Jane, if you put in postcard, uh, it'll come up. And I thought they went really well with the kit. So I'm probably going to use those. And I also wanted to show you that in the kit there are different journaling pages. So there's this one, which is plain, but then I did a lined one. Same page, just has lines in it. And I don't know if I... Yes, I did. So these, that's what it'll look like for me. You can print them solid if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but I did it like this so that you would get three full journaling pages, then a picture. And then I will likely put in, you know, a um, tea stained somewhere, probably in front of the picture. That way you've got a consistent three page lines. I, it's all about OCD, you guys. I'm sorry, but that's the way I am. And uh, so I have to do things sort of. Yeah, matchy, I guess. Anyway, I did these, and I printed on both sides so that I could use these for the flaps. And what I'll do is I'll cut it down the middle, fold it in half, and then this will be, I believe I'm going to put it in the center in front of the envelope. And that way it won't bulk up my book at the beginning, which will make it um, hard to... Uh, have your pages nice. I'll show you what I mean as I go along. Probably. Or maybe not. <laughs> Life, you know what? Life is what it is. And anyways, I've done a few of those. And then I wanted to show you that I did it this way as well. So this is your portrait. And that way when you have, if you want to print them on the back of say postcards or tags, um, if you print that, onto here, and then you turn it over, they're facing the correct way. Uh, so you have that option as well. Um, honestly don't know why I printed one like this, but oh maybe just to add as a, a letter kind of a deal. I did a couple of them. And I haven't uh, cut these out yet, but I will get to those. So that's, um, that's what I'm working on. Um, I have no idea when this will be done, how long it will take me, but I feel like being creative today. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that, and then, um, you know, maybe I'll jump back on later. Who knows? Um, if it's a longer video, then you know that I did. <laughs> if not, this is it. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm obviously on back. I printed out this again on a 61 pound cardstock and I wanted to show you why. I found this really nice um, book cover that I gutted and of course you've got your exposed spine here. I always like to add a little bit more. I don't think this is enough for me personally. Um, I, I want my books to last a long time. Now I printed this out and this is from Dorothy who is Create Every Day. Uh, I won her um, Dragonfly kit and this was one of the pages in it that I had already had printed out. So I thought, you know what, it's, it's perfect, it's very neutral um, and it was here. So <laughs> I decided to use it. So this is what I'm going to do is cover the fly or the inside cover I should say. This will be the outside cover and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cardstock and I'm going to trim it. Um, let's see, I got a mess guys, I got a mess. I'm running out of room here. Now let's see if I can get this I'm going to use, well, I think I'll use this side. Now the reason I 
printed both sides of this is because the leftover I can cut and make into postcards. All right, now what I'm going to do is decide if I want, I'm going to turn this off. Um, if I want it to go over like that, or I think I'm going to do it this way, over this page. And what I'll do is I'll measure, so that will probably cover approximately there which leaves a space of about one and a half inches. And I want a half inch on either side, so another inch. So two and a half inches is what I'm going to cut this at. aside because I will use that for postcards. And then I will just trim off the white edge. And see where I'm at. So when I pick my covers then I can build my book to fit. Um, I have lately not done that. I, I just, you know, keep going and make my book and then I make my cover. But when you don't do that, then you really have to be, oh, I don't want that, um, careful because, you know, that's a lot of work that you're putting into a book. Oh, wow, is that it for crooked? That can't. Maybe it's me. Am I crooked? I'm crooked. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's a lot of work that you put into your books and... Oh, I know why. Is that upside down? No. You know what I should have done? I should have trimmed this off too. Now, maybe I can. I might still have enough. Yeah. Trim that edge off because it's throwing me for a loop. Yeah, that is crooked. Hang on. Sometimes my cutter messes with me. Let me see if it is straight. That's two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it's straight. Okay. Optical illusion here. I find that really throws me off. Okay, I'm going to go to there and there. Okay. Hopefully that will still work. And if not, I've got a nice uh, mark. Yeah, so if you keep um, your signatures in your book, that's going to work. Um, you know, like this. I'll grab the other ones. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there it is. And then... I should figure out how many I'm going to need. Well, there's four. Oh, Twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me check. No, I'm not going to need that many. I need nine, I think. This is why I keep my signatures together, generally speaking. So I know my placements and 
all that jazz. Yeah, I'm going to need three per. So I need one more of those. And oh, I didn't even know I was going to do this today, you guys, so forgive me if I'm all over the map. I'm sure I'll get many thumbs down for that. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that out loud. Um, Two and three. Really love her hat. It's so cool. Okay. And I was taking photos yesterday went on my walk and of some of those beautiful hedge roses. And uh working on them in Photoshop so I can start using my own photography in my kits. But I have no idea what I want to do next as far as designing goes. I really want to start designing, but uh, yeah, I don't really have anything in mind. Inspiration is not hit yet. Okay, then I would like front of, well I guess I don't have the envelopes in here yet, do I? No. I do have one put together. Oh, is this the one? I don't think so. No. Okay, what did I do with that one, you guys? Okay, just for giggles, I'll just stick this one in here. <laughs> it's not the way I want it. but. I will find the other one somewhere around in this mess. That, and then I want this here. And I'm going to cut one of these, in half. Um, I need my other cutter. Oh boy end up with things falling all over the place. But I did cut it all over. Oh well. Okay, so it's uh, eight and a half, so a four and a quarter wide. Actually, yeah, one will be a little wider than the other because the borders are not exactly even. But that's okay. Slide it down just a wee bit. Maybe it'll be more even. Okay. All right. Then, um, this one. still need that other one. I don't think I can get this. No. Okay. This is annoying. You know when you start out with a desk that's so nice and tidy? Yeah, mine stays that way for five seconds. find this one really difficult to see the edging. I don't know why, but I do. Okay. Yeah. That's really annoying. It is not good being a perfectionist, you know. It really isn't. OK, 
Okie doke. So, I should like the darker side better. That's one. Let's move this. I just don't want it to turn my light off. <laughs> Sometimes happens. Okay, then that's only one. Let's do this one. So I'm not super concerned about the borders, you know, there's no border on the top here because I add stuff to these and um, yeah, it's not a huge deal. Is that the center one? Yes. Is that where I wanted it? What did I do with this one? Wow, talk about green. Oh yeah. And again, it's not the right envelope, but just for width, so I can see how much I'm going to be able to put in here is the whole point of me doing this. Because you have to take into consideration your ephemera and uh, all that jazz, right? All your pages. I don't know what I did with that other envelope. Oh, it's in here. Ha ha. Okay. So that's going to go like that. And then I need one more. Where did I put that page? Hi. Ha, huh, I had two of them. This is it. Aha. It's probably because I don't stand when I cut that I have trouble seeing what I'm doing. Measure that. And oh, good, eight and a quarter. Four and two sixteenths. Oh, wow, I actually did that right. Amazing. Okay. really need that so I'll save that for something else and I have oh look 
found it. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's the other one. Oh, right. It was inside. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I think I need to eat because my brain is turning to mush. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I uh, Maybe I did. I don't know. I told you. My brain's mush. Um, I'm not doing keto anymore. I just found it really, really difficult to continue. After we got back from Hawaii um, last May, uh, I just couldn't seem to get back. I did really well there too, really well. Lost quite a bit of weight, but I don't know. And then emotional things happening and uh, yeah. So I found it hard to get back on it. Um, so I'm on Weight Watchers. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, so this is going to work. This is, um, I still got lots of room, like squish room. Um, it'll likely, it's probably going to need um, a closure, for sure. But I think it's going to work. And of course, the longer I have this squished close, the smaller the um, tea stain stuff will get it'll flatten out better but that is how I get the idea of what kind of cover I'm going to need now this I try and look for this size because I find it's the nicest size even when you're doing a two signature um, yeah you can get a really nice size so this is well if you're just going by this part here that's bent it's a little over it's an inch and two eighths two sixteenths Two sixteenths, yeah. Um, but if you're going by how it flattens out this way, it's actually bigger. It's almost one and a half. So that's what I look for. Um, I carry a little tiny uh, tape measure with me, and when I go into the dollar store, uh, I think it's Dollar Tree. I believe is the one that I go to. They have a few up here in Canada now, and they carry a lot of hardbound books, and they're dirt cheap. And if you're gutting them anyways, you know, it doesn't matter what they look like. I mean, what is this? Mother, mother. Like, who cares? I'll be painting over that. Um, and it doesn't, and I don't care about the color of the cover. This just happened to be a nice one. Um, it doesn't matter, because I paint them. Or, yeah, I do something to them. You know, I might ink them. And then when I seal them, the ink stays on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But this is a really nice size book because it allows for my, see it's eight and a half. So your page length is eight and a half, but by the time you trim the edges, then you've got, I think it's eight and two sixteenths is, is what it ends up being around about there, or eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter. So you've got that little bit of wiggle room. It won't hang out the edge. And when I design the covers, that it usually will fit perfectly on a hardbound book of this size, which it does. So I think it's going to be a really pretty book, especially when it gets um, all jazzled on the top. Like that new word. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got to share uh, this time around. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back, but... Um, Take care, everybody. Bye.